Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Once again, this is me Tasteless and once again we're going to be doing another Tarkov guide. This is a guide that you've all been waiting for, asking for. I'm really excited to do this. This is the Lighthouse Post Nerf Loot Guide. So let's get on with it. As you can see here, there's the map. And I just want to throw it out there, we're going to be doing this in an offline raid. I just want to make sure that I can show you all the spots that you can loot. And trying to get there in an online raid is, you know, with all the PvP eminence and the rogues shooting at me, it's not as easy. Obviously, this is only, you know, for the purpose of the video. So the loot may not be as representative as it should be. Just a small warning there because BSG tends to nerf the loot in offline raids. So, let's get into it. Starting off, I'm going to start with the free stashes. Depending on where you spawn, will be whether you loot them or not. This first stash, located under the stage hideout, only loot this if you spawn here. As you can see, it's just between the rocks here. Moving on to the next stash we're going to loot, it's just above side tunnel. Once again, only if you spawn around this area, go and loot this. It's always worth checking stashes if you're nearby. If you don't get the spawn, don't worry about it. And once again, on the final stash here, as you can see on the red circle, not far away. Again, only loot this if you spawn near it, or you're running past it later on. You know, don't go out of your way to loot it, it's not always worth it. And with that, we'll start looking at the areas we should be looting. As you can see here, small village and side tunnel marked on the map. Only, and I can not preach this enough, only loot these if you spawn here. As you can see, as we're making our way into the small fishing village, there's a crate there, broken crate, always check those. In here we've got a duffel bag, and in the other room we'll have a technical loot spawn, so like fuel and other bits that can spawn in the back of the room. I'll show you that in just a sec. Here we go, just there. Also make sure to check the floor as well. As you're running out, to the left you'll find another little shack. In there you'll find a toolbox. But my honest advice with this location and side tunnel, just leave it, it's not worth it. As you can see here, another building just in front of that. Just look at this shelf here, and sometimes there's food spawns on the floor. Moving on to side tunnel, check these broken crates on either side, and the wood around it. There's a chance to find M tubes and stuff like that, so it's quite good loot. But, like I just said, personally, I don't feel like these areas are worth looting. They're too high risk, especially straight off of spawn, because you're essentially trapping yourself. So I really don't like these two areas. I kind of tend to skip them myself, but you can find decent loot inside. So like later on in the raid, always check these spots. Moving on now, we're going to the downed helicopter. As you can see, marked to the map in red. And here, we want to be looking at the ground around this med box, because there can be stims. We can loot the med box, and there's also, I believe, a grenade case to the right of it, or an ammo case. Now the reason this one's marked in red, and the others were marked in orange, is because I feel like those that are marked in orange are spots that maybe probably shouldn't be looted early game. Because like I said, you are essentially trapping yourself in those zones, especially off spawn. You're going to have people in the mountains looking at you, they could be anywhere. There's so many spawns close together there, so it's just not worth it. Even this helicopter is a bit risque, you know, the loot's not that amazing. But what is good? And what is worth it is this couch up here, this small little chair. Definitely run up here and loot this. As you can see, boom, Bitcoin. Value will spawn there. So it's always worth checking out. Moving on, up to the big house. As you can see, also marked in red. And here, obviously I'm not going to show every single thing that you should loot. But running up here, you want to run into this right building. Check this chair. I've heard valuable spawns there. And this safe is always open. So like I said, I'm not going to run through every single duffel bag, you know, weapons crate. I just want to show you guys those loot spots that you should always be checking for good valuable loot. So once we're done in this room with the med crate and stuff, you know, always check there for meds as well. Run over to the garage, to the right here. And now there's a couple of good loot spawns in this garage. On this table here. On the floor over here. In this box, behind the car, and just to the side of the car here as well. There is also, as you'll see in a second, on this toolbox is a valuable spawn, and this workbench as well. There's also a toolbox as you can see in this room, 
I want you to look at this room, you know, it's relatively easy to look. There's also a car, I'll show you that, you can open the boot, there you go. Find some weapon parts, and then you want to head into the house through this door here. And check on this right shelf at the bottom, as you can see, we find another valuable item. Running into the house, we want to go to look at this table slash chair combination. As you can see, we find a stim. There's also valuables spawned on there. I've seen bitcoins, lions, all the sorts. Then you've got this room in the back to the left with a duffel bag. Obviously, you can loot that. But I'm really just cutting through because there's another little side chalet that I want to run to. The meds spawn in the bathroom as well. So, yeah, we're going to run to this side chalet over here. This is another valuable spawn. On here to the right there's drinks, food, meds. And inside here on this table is another valuable spawn. Moving on, outside, downstairs by the pool, there's a dead scav in this kind of jacuzzi or whatever, whatever this is. You know, he's got valuables on him sometimes. And then going inside the house, we go upstairs to the pool table room. Sometimes on this pool table, at the back of the room. There's a weapons crate in here as well, as you can see, there we go. And some shelves to the right, also worth checking out. Like I said, I'm not going to loot it all. Moving on to the next set of chalets, the biggest chalets, as marked in red. Here we go. I believe that one building's not really worth looting. What is worth looting, however, is these boxes, starting off. This bar area here, as you can see, whiskey, vodka spawns in there. Also behind the bar, valuable spawn. Boom, get on that. Notable mention in this bathroom, weapon spawns, although not weapons, but weapon pieces and medical equipment. Equipment. And going upstairs, the last notable spawn is in this house, this bathroom, near the toilet paper. Someone's dropped some valuables. There's also the USEC safe right there. Then you want to run outside. Obviously, you can loot the rest of the building, but this building's got some bits and bobs too. You can find food, random items, defuel, stuff like that. The pizza box is always worth checking, as I've heard rumours that valuables can spawn there. Always run over to these trampolines. Food, drink spawns on them, also valuables and other random items. As you can see here, we'll see some dollars. Boom, there we go. Always worth checking. And then this next kind of cafeteria building. Oh, there we go. As you can see, another box, another crate. Worth checking. You can find all sorts in there, it's like vertexes, tech loot, good tech loot, Bitcoin, stuff like that. So, this cafeteria building, run inside, right room, you can find food in the left room. Where this dead pig is, you can find meds. There's also a med box behind us that you can check out. I found survival kits and stuff like that. So, yeah, moving on. You don't have to do this. You can check out this dead scav up though, behind the rock. Sometimes there's a good few bits. Now I want to explain this, so you can either take the lower passage or the upper passage. The safe route is the upper passage, because you can look over the village. But because of the purposes of the video, obviously I'm in an offline raid, I'm going to take the lower passage. So yeah, we're moving on to the next part, which is the next village, as you can see in red here, marked. I call this village part one. And what you want to loot here is yeah, this tech crate behind the weird house, and inside the house as well in a sec. While looting this, always be wary of people in the hills behind you and stuff like that. People in buildings, you know, when you're inside these buildings, you can hear them from a mile away. Because they're always on wood. Coming into the building, there's a jacket, another crate. That table sometimes has stuff on it. Upstairs, a duffel bag. So nothing really special in here. Same with this other building in the garden. Just check that out. You can find some like tech spawns and stuff like that in the back here. And there you go. Back on the road, blue van. Run past that, down this road here, take a right into this garden. This little shack here, I know you need a key for the house there, but you've got another tech crate, another tech crate, another tech spawn. You know, and back here you can find M hoses and stuff like that. So it's definitely worth checking. Outside again, you've got this broken box in front of the house, and this red building. This red building is super, super important. I have found the majority of my graphics cards this wipe in this building so make sure when you're in a past always check it out but like i said be wary so you want to come in here you've got a jacket you've got shelves for technical loot a toolbox you make a lot of noise while looting these buildings so you want to be quick that's why i'm going to show you the three spots that i check 
and nothing more. There's nothing else notable worth looting. So this shelf here can have defuel, the couch, and right here, tech spawn. Then we want to run upstairs into this one room with the Alienware. Look at this PC, it's jacked. Alienware PC and a tech spawn in front of it. I found GPUs there, all sorts, so many times. Moving on, we've got this rundown shack over here. We want to loot this as well. We've got a duffel bag coming inside. Stuff can spawn in that chair. Ammo there. Always check the floor here to the right. Valuable spawn. Make sure you look around as well. There's sometimes random items on the floor. Going into the kitchen at the back. Another technical spawn. Food on the table. Jacket on the side there. After that, run outside. Run around the back. As you can see, more toolboxes. Tool spawns right there on the table. You've got a technical supply crate right here. Running over to the table, you've got food and drinks. There's some chocolate. Die, chocolate, die. There we go. I really wanted to shoot something. Running into this building here, more technical loot. Toolboxes. You've got a jacket. You've got another spot there. So that's pretty much that for that village. Moving on to the abandoned village, the rundown crap hole. Here we go. Starting at the gate here. As you run inside, go to the left building here. I've found a lot of M tubes on this table. I say a lot, three. I found three M tubes. It's not really a lot, but it's a lot for this game. Then you want to run over here, take a look just in front of that door. I found some weird valuable spawns. The only notable houses apart from that is this one with the big tech supply crate in. Check the shelves as well. And the one across here, it's got a jacket. And it's got some food. Apart from that, nothing really worth looting. So with that, let's head back to the village. Village part 2, near the road, as you can see. And coming up to this, we'll see a little porta potty. A little outside toilet with some vodka. Someone's been having an absolute party. Wish I was there. I don't get invited to parties. Check the table for food and other bits. In this building, jacket, tech supply at the back workbench as well always worth checking in case you find like a bitcoin this other little shack over here another tech supply crate loot it up then you want to run into the building like so really good job there going left here not really much going on bathroom lovely apple juice down there so yeah not really much going on more food spawns on the table there but then this cheeky little bugger in the back here, this little box, there we go, boom, little vertex. Always make sure to check that box, a lot of people don't know about it. Going on to the other side, we've got a couple of duffel bags, one there, bing bang boom, what else is in here? Jack squat, I don't think in this back room anything good spawns either. Got another duffel bag though. Then you want to kind of make your way upstairs, some more food there. There we go, we'll go upstairs, we'll go to the right here. We've got a jacket, duffel bag, perfect, great start. In here, another duffel bag, next to the duffel bag, actually items can spawn as you can see there, I believe that's a ring, skull ring, valuable items spawn. Over here, have a look around the room, but that's pretty much it for this building. Moving on to the train station, one of the most underrated places, you want to come inside as you can see, front entrance, go around the left here, boom. Duffel bag, hidden duffel bag, who'd have thought, who'd have thunk it, me, because I knew it was there, anyway, you want to run into the warehouse, run around the warehouse, 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 there we go, and we got there in the end, so we want to run in here, loot the toolboxes, loot all the shelves, super important, you can find some really good stuff in here, there's also a jacket, so yeah, just kind of run around, looting everything, as you can see a hose there, desk over here but this area is definitely worth looting 90% of the time I come here this area hasn't been looted even really really late on in the raid and you can find some really good stuff like M tubes and stuff like that there is a spawn I'll show you at the end and if you get the spawn my belief is to run directly here to avoid confrontation confrontation and yeah I'm really struggling with words today and yeah try and get like a drop on some decent loot so this place is really, really good, really underrated. Another toolbox there, as you saw. Running outside here, 
couple of loot spawns here as well on these like wood piles and stuff. So always check this area as well. Apart from that, I tend to find myself just kind of running around looking for bits and bobs because the spawns are so random here. As you can see, sometimes in the train carts, running out of train cart, there's actually a weapons like cargo crate over here. So check that out. Find some decent scopes. At this area at the back, you can see another broken crate there. Check that. Like I said, always check those. Super important. You can find such good stuff. Running over here, you can see a truck, and you want to actually jump up in that truck. I'll show you in a second. You can find more weapon bits and bobs over here. Bullets, there you go. Found some new bullets, BPs. And like I said, you want to jump in this truck over here. Inside the truck, there's another tech crate. I'm clearly too fat to jump. There we go. So, that is pretty much it. I will show you, this is the map. This is what I believe the most efficient loot route is. Sticking to that northern side and covering all those areas. It's always worth getting out a path to shoreline. Such a useful extract in the middle of the map, honestly. So it's definitely worth looting that kind of top side, the northern side of the map. Those buildings there as well, those spots I showed you. And then just getting out. As you can see by this next map, my belief is that if you get this spawn, avoid running backwards into the other guy. Also, don't rush the road camp. Chill out, go to the train station, and then wrap your way around and do the road camp from the other side, the easy side, as I like to call it. This is also possible for bears, so you don't get shot straight away. So yeah, as you can see, take this path through the back of the mountains, pretty well covered there. Get into the train station, load that up. That's what you want to be doing in this scenario. Because running backwards or trying to confront the rogues from that place is quite complicated. So, and you will often encounter another PMC. Whenever I spawn there, I just head straight to the train station. And finally, this next map is what you should do if you spawn on this side of the map, the southern side. Always run forward. Always run forward. These places aren't worth looting. The loot's not great. And if you do get these spawns, one of these spawns, you're in prime position to get that road camp, the road guide that I've done previously. But yeah, when it comes to like houses at the top and stuff on the northern side, it's just you just lose priority. It's not worth running up there. So in that scenario, it's more worth it to try and get those rogues done, get profit that way. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, the little guide. I know you guys have been waiting and asking for it. I haven't covered every single, you know, duffel bag, this, that, what you should loot. I didn't do all the stashes either. Like I said, the effective route is to stay on that northern side, go through those houses and do it that way. There's more than enough loot to fill up your bags and a couple of compounds, a couple of houses, and just get out a path to shoreline. The amount of valuables and everything, even though after the nerf, you know, it's been nerfed, but it's still absolutely ridiculous. The, the map, you still find, like, like you saw, I know it, it was an offline raid, but offline raid, the loot's nerfed. I still found two bitcoins. So those spots are definitely worth checking for sure. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment if, you know, you feel like I missed anything important or you've got any ideas or questions. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, honestly. We've made it to over 100 subs now. That is, wow. Like, <laughs> I'm amazed. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate it, honestly. It's been amazing. So yeah, let's try and hit that, you know, 200 mark. Let's do it, guys. And with that, you know, hope you enjoyed the guide. Have a nice day and peace out.